Of course, the Quran was a big guiding factor in my life. Um, the first time I read the Quran, obviously uh, you start crying. So, as I'm reading the Quran, I'm reading the Quran, I'm reading the Quran, I'm counting the pages, how many pages left. And the closer I got to finishing the Quran, the more sadness I felt, because it's going to finish. Yeah. So when I hear, Kun Fayakun, it makes me go mad. For two years, I go to bed, Akh, Isma'a, Kun Fayakun. Salatayn, Subhanallah. Kun Fayakun, Kun Fayakun, Kun Fayakun. Yani the Quat Allah, 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 Allah. Yani al al Qawi. Allahumma thabbithum ala al Iman. وارزقهم أعلى الجنان كما رزقتهم هداية القرآن بالقرآن اهتدى بالقرآن اهتدى في رحبه تحل الحياة شوقا إلى المولى هداي أسلمت روحي للإناء نور الحياة Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Ramiz Ibrahim on the lakes of, uh, where are we, in East London, Whips Cross. I'm from a Turkish background, Turkish Cypriot. My parents are from Cyprus. They came here in the 60s. Ramiz from London. Allah gave him a prayer to tell him on his power, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the power of his power in the world. He returned to Allah, what else can I say? I mean, when I was 18, I went to Turkey for four to five weeks, and my uncle there, he taught me Al-Fatiha, I um, saw a class, and I went to Jumu'ah with him, but not praying five times, just Jumu'ah in Turkey. He taught me, he went to Istanbul, he taught, showed me the Hagia Sophia, the, all the masajid there. Uh, I came back. And that was it. No more Islam. Yeah, no, no more prayer or nothing, Juma. Until I was, until tw uh, 27, 28 years old. لم يكن رامز يعرف شيئا عن الله سبحانه وتعالى إلا إذا أنه أخطأ فإن الله سبحانه وتعالى سوف يعذبه. عاش رامز حياة بعيدة عن الإسلام. أول مرة سمع فيها رامز القرآن كان عندما زار عمه في تركيا. I made decision that. By the time I'm 30 years old, I'm going to change my life. But I don't know about Islam. Not I'm going to find Islam or I'm going to look into the religion of Allah SWT or the deen of Allah SWT. No. Just I'm going to change my life. How? Allah 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 Allah. So I wanted to travel. I'm looking, for, I'm looking for something here. You know, I'm going mad. I need to find something. I went to Cyprus. I came back, went to America. That's where I found Yaqeen in Allah SWT, the certainty in Allah SWT, when I was 29, going on 30. فسافر في يوم من الأيام إلى أمريكا هربا من كل معارفه. يريد أن يعيش لوحده لأنه يشعر بأن شيئا كان ينقصه. لم يجد الإطمئنان والسعادة. في ليلة من الليالي في أمريكا انطرح بين يدي ربه. At night time, I would wash, I would sit, and I would talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, I know you exist. I know you exist. But you have to show me the way. Yani, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can see with this, but I can't see with this. this okay. I need this to open up. Allah. So I said, I, I, I want to submit now. So when I came back to London, I uh, found a job looking after a, a boy, young boy in a wheelchair. No. Uh, he, he's a Jewish boy, no. a Yahud. I, went, I took him to school, Jews free school, and I heard the rabbi talk about there is only one God. So I said, this is true. 
Allah. There's only one God. This is the Rabbi, Yahud, saying there's only one God. I said, it's true. This is, this is what I'm looking for. I wanted the truth, one God. And when I started reading the Quran, there was a masjid opposite my father's shop. For 15 years, I didn't enter that shop. I didn't go to the masjid. But when I started you know, the calling and how I felt, I read the Quran and I just started to pray. There's always a push and pull, push and pull situation because shaitan is, is yeah. whispering all the time, you know, what you're doing here, this is an Asian masjid and you're a, like a, you're a white man, they're going to look at you funny, etc, etc. But on my other side, you know, the iman, you know, they said, no, this, this is the, this, this is the Bayt Allah. Have iman, have shaitan. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It doesn't belong to the people, it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you feel comfortable and you pray. And alhamdulillah, I just continued this way. And you kept Sakina here. Yeah. Every, every, you know, كل مسألك السكينة في يعني is different. حياتك مختلفة أخي رامز مع كتاب الله سبحانه وتعالى. وأثر الآيات على قلبك كثير حتى هداك الله سبحانه وتعالى بهذا القرآن العظيم وهذا النور المبين. هناك آيات غيرت حياتك وآيات استوقفت رامز. وآيات أثرت على قلب رامز ما هي هذه الآيات؟ آيات في في سورة آل عمران يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى إن مثل إن مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقته من تراب ثم قال الله كن فيكون إن مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له Kun so when I hear Kun Fayakun, it makes me go mad. For two years, I go to bed. Ah, isma'a. Kun Fayakun. Salatain. Subhanallah. Yeah. Kun Fayakun. Kun Fayakun. Kun Fayakun. Yani the Kun Fayakun. Yani It took a long time for me to understand this. Not because uh, I don't understand Deen. Not because. Uh, I had problem with yaqeen, لا, I had yaqeen. But to, to, uh, to absorb the power, kun fayakun. Be and it is, not a, I try, or oh, mistake, mushkil, no. I try again, no, try again, no. First time, first time, kun fayakun. Yani, subhanallah. Tell me about the kun fayakun, in the example of Isa, and he talks about the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I remember the example of the great in Surah Al-Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يا أيها الناس ضرب مثل فاستمعوا له إن الذين تدعون من دون الله لن يخلقوا ذبابا ولو اجتمعوا له وإن يسلبهم الذباب شيئا لا يستنقذه منه قال ضعف الطالب والمطلوب ما قدر الله حق قدره إن الله لقوي عزيز سبحان الله إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون الله سبحانه وتعالى يبين في هذه الآية أنه إذا أراد شيئا يقول له كن مرة واحدة فيكون لأن الله سبحانه وتعالى لا يمانعه أحد ولا يعصي أمره أحد فهو الواحد القهار ذو القوة والجبروت لا إله إلا الله ولا رب سواه بالقرآن اهتجي في رحبه تحل الحياة شوقا إلى المولى أتيت أسلمت روحي للإله نور الحنايا والطلوع لله أعلنت الرجوع آياته تغدو شموع ويفيض في قلبي سنا Happiness is only when you find, when your heart accepts the submission to your Creator. It's okay to say, I'm a Muslim, uh, my deen is Al-Islam. But if we say, if instead of saying Muslim, I'm a submitter, I've submitted to the will of the Creator, the one who created everything. There's Him and there's everything else. تعلمت من رامز أن تدبر القرآن وفهمه أمر مهم في الدين. 
وليس ثانويا One of the most important things is to learn the Quran. You know, it's to someone to sit, to stand there in Qiyam and recite Al-Fatiha and not know what he's saying is a big mushkila. And Allah says, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنِعَ لِفَشَّهِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ So if a person just does the actions but doesn't understand what Allah SWT is saying, it's going to be difficult, difficult for him to stay away from Fahisha uh, Munkar, etc., etc. So it's vital, not important, it's vital with urgency that anyone, any Muslim, every Muslim must know minimum, minimum the, the tafsir of, of, of Al Fatiha. <laughs> Quran isn't about uh, wishy-washy stories or, oh, much that was a good, I read that book and put it on the shelf for Ramadan comes and take it off the shelf again and then you read the Quran. You have to see the Quran as your part of your life on an everyday basis so you can have a strong relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So without the Quran and you taking a firm commitment to read the Quran, your life will be, I think, will be half empty. You'll be walking around in circles. For example, here, Ramadan, Taraweeh, is full. Jumu'ah is full. But go to Fajr, it's half empty. Ramadan comes, they take the, the Quran off the shelf, <laughs> dust, and they, they become like, alhamdulillah, every year more and more people become more stronger and they stay in Islam, they start praying, they learn the Quran, etc., etc. But the most important thing for a person is to hold the Qur'an in his heart, learn it, read it, memorize it, internalize it and practice it. You know, the dua with the action must come together. So those of you who keep saying, I want to read Qur'an, I want to memorize Qur'an, I want to uh, learn the Qur'an, it's not going to happen by talking. It's going to happen by you picking up the Qur'an, finding someone to teach you and the result you, will be fruitful for you, inshaAllah. هل القرآن الكريم كتاب الله سبحانه وتعالى كان له أثر في في هدايتك؟ Of course the Quran was a big guiding factor in my life. Um, the first time I read the Quran, obviously uh, you start crying. So as I'm reading the Quran, I'm reading the Quran, I'm reading the Quran, I'm counting the pages, how many pages left. And the closer I got to finishing the Quran, the more sadness I felt. Because it's going to finish. No. The Quran did play; it played a huge part in my no. guidance to Al Islam. اهتم رامز بالقرآن بوقت متأخر جدا، ويقول رامز هذا الكلام وهو متحسر على نفسه، مع أنه كان مهتم بالدروس الشرعية، ولكنه علم بعد ذلك أن العلم بالقرآن هو الأهم. My relationship with the Quran when I first started to practice Al Islam wasn't as good as I. It, or it should have been. I was busy learning aqidah and fiqh and etc. So I'm learning verses rather than to learn how to read. But nobody actually said to me, go and do tajweed Quran, go and do this, go and do that, you know, so. But it came many years later. So my relationship with the Quran wasn't as good as it should have been from the beginning. If it was, alhamdulillah, I would have been much happier. And with the knowledge that Ramaz I went to Egypt in 2008 
uh, for a couple of months, just two months, and, and to learn to read the Quran. To, uh, and I was reading it for three hours a day, non-stop, three hours. Yeah. At night time, at night time, I would lie down to think about the Quran and the pages, the awraq al-Quran, uh, al would pass you know, my eyes Allah. like this. So even now, I still can absorb and still memorize a little bit. And it's, it's amazing, you know, the amazing thing about the Quran is the matter who you are. <laughs> Well, there will come a time in your life where you will have to contemplate on the rest of your life. But one day something will happen and make you think. You may get you may get cancer, you may have a car accident that will leave you, you know, in a situation where you can't walk, maybe not talk, God forbid. Well, I'll give you long life so that you can seek the truth. But one day you're going to contemplate yourself. Where is the rest of my life? Where is the rest of my life going? So pick up the Quran, find out for yourselves. Now, all those of you are saying that, oh, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in a God. That's not a problem because you're, that's, not, that's not a problem. But the one that you say you don't believe in, believes in you because you will have to meet him one day and you're going to have to have accountability to him whether you believe it or not. اتجه للدعوة وحرص عليها وله العديد من الرحلات التعريفية بالإسلام. الحمد لله. In January I just come back from Malawi, uh, Africa, and uh, we give da'wah there, and over 200 people become Muslim. الحمد لله. تبارك الله. To give somebody da'wah and they take the shahada, which was what happened to me, Hamdulillah, in, in January, it felt more, I felt more about it than coming here and giving a khutbah here, and a lecture here, and, and teaching here. According to the person's character as well, they insert they, themselves, it will come out in their da'wah. So it's important to first purify your intention, and what you're doing it for, why you're doing it, uh, what you want to gain from it, is very important to know the nafs. أعجبتني طريقة رامز في الدعوة وطريقة محاورته لغير المسلمين. للأسف بعض الدعاة إذا أرادوا أن يناقشون غير المسلم يناقشون وكأنه شخص مسلم. Be sincere to the person. Don't have anything in the heart for the person you're talking to. Now we understand they're non-Muslims. خلاص، but the insan. But don't say Islam is better than Christianity. Islam is good. No. So look, I want to tell you the truth. I ask a few questions. When somebody asks me why I pray, why I wear the lahya, why I fast, I say because your Lord and my Lord told me to. This is my dawa. Right. Or somebody says to me, there's something wrong with the Quran. Most Muslims say, no, no, no. They try to defend the Quran. No, no. There's the Quran. Allah. Go and find the problem. مر رامز بتجربة صعبة مع أصحابه وعلم أن أخوة الدين هي أقوى الروابط والعلاقات في هذه الدنيا. My friends that I used to have in jahil in jahiliya now uh, are no longer see. So Allah has has changed friends and family uh, outside of Islam before Islam because I realize it now. The friends I had before wasn't really helping me. You know, true friends help each other. But being in a Muslim brotherhood, you know, if I make a phone call, if I need a brother at three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, you know, five o'clock in the morning, they'll be at my doorstep to help me. And that has happened before, and I'm talking through experience. 
Alhamdulillah. But Umar al-Khattab radiallahu anhu used to seek uh, Sahaba to sit down to increase the Iman. You have to do the same. But you can't go to anybody. I only have a few people, maybe two or three, that I can sit with and my Iman will grow. And my Yaqeen Allah will grow. My firm into Allah will grow. And be strong and keep strong. So you have to have the strength. In order to find good company, to sit with, to, to give you good Iman and good Deen and give you Yaqeen and make you strong, you have to know which friend it is. People that want to be happy, they're seeking it in wrong ways. Even in, even in Islam, Muslims are seeking happiness wrong way. Don't seek happiness, you seek contentment. You're eating, you're drinking, you're sleeping, you have a roof over your head, roof over your head, that's it. كان المدى شوان حتى كساه الندى والقلب قد أرضاك يا رب حين اهتدى يا رب حين اهتدى My wishes and my wants generally is my two daughters to and all my, if I have more children, become uh, Hafiz Quran. Ameen. This is the wish for any, any, anyone who loves their, their children. Anyone loves their children, they must have the best for them. Ma'am. And for them to, under, for expand, to expand their brain, to make their brain big, and to understand dunya, Ma'am. they must understand Quran. Bi-idhnillah ta'ala, Mawqa' Noon sayusharik fi tahqiq hadhi al-umniya. Tabi'u hadhi al-umniya ala mawqa'i. ربيعي أنس أيامي صديقي بوح أحلامي شفاء الهم والشقوى يداوي جرحي دامي ربيعي أنس أيامي صديقي بوح أحلامي شفاء الهم والشقوى يداوي جرحي دامي ولما تهت ثم أتيت لدرب كلام رب البيت وجدت النور والسلوى مع القرآن اهتديت مع القرآن اهتديت